Hello guys, this is me reporting an emergency meeting and I just want to say that I think Yellow was being kind of sus and that you should like and subscribe to follow what he's doing and make sure he's not up to anything bad. Anyways, that concludes this emergency meeting. Continue with the fabulous intro. Hello Banana Gang, welcome back. Today I've got something kind of special and cool to show you. So this creative map that you're seeing right now is one that I've made. I had some help from my spe from my friend, Spinny2005, linked to his channel in the description. Um, but I've been mostly directing this, I'd still consider this mostly my own map. So this is basically Among Us in Fortnite. It's kind of a spaceship, um, it looks horrible in the- oh, I don't even have a map right now. It looks horrible in the map right now if I haven't built, like, the outer shell. Um, cause it's really just the interior that matters, but I'm gonna build, like, a shell around it to make it actually look good. And right now I just wanna kinda show off the rooms, how they look, and some of the plans we have for them. And then I'll probably check back in in a week, couple weeks, and show all the, all the technical stuff, and how we're doing it. And how we're gonna make it work. Hopefully Among Us won't have died by then, but it probably will. But I plan to still finish this map. So without further ado, let's showcase this map. Alright, so this is the first room. And this room is kind of the, like, common room. The, um, living room, as you will. There's still a lot of some, like, industrial stuff going on. These, like, iron bars and these, like, machine things you can use. But I try to make it look a little more casual. We have these, like, uh, what would you call them? Countertops and, like, couches and stuff. Some bookshelves. I try to make this, like, look... A little bit homey. There's still some stuff kind of in disarray. Like we got a trap, like uh, an empty open vent here. Another vent kind of fell down. We got red lights flashing. So it's not like a perfect thing. Over here is kind of just a dead end. There'll probably be like a task or something over here. We got like a vault. Um, can't open it. Just kind of there for decoration. There will be some tasks like you know there. Probably one like on the air conditioning thing. A few different spots. We're probably gonna have one. Um, I don't know. Like just around. Probably empty the trash can or something. I don't really know. So this one right here is one of the only things you can actually interact with so far. We've only added a few technical things in the map that you can actually, like, use. And I'll be showcasing these a little bit later. Uh, but what this one will do is lock or unlock a bunch of drawers in the area. And I'll explain how that works a little bit more. Moving on to the next room, we have this room, which isn't really a room. It's more just kind of a glorified hallway. It goes down this way. Um, this is the, the next, like, actual room. And this is the main uh, control security room. Got all the, like, monitors and stuff here. Got a speaker, a couple mini computers. Um, here there'll be a, there's a thing where you can unlock or lock all the facilities. Plus there's gonna be a few other, like, security-related mechanical things you can do in this room. Um, the whole idea of this map is that it's kind of, like, all interconnected. So you can, like, interact with stuff and really change the map or interact with the map to, like, suit what you need, whether you're the imposter or a crew member. Oh, by the way, this vent, there's vents all over the map. Um, these vents are here for if you're locked in a room, there's a way to get out. This goes in the room we were just in. Um, I guess I'll show you this room now. Also, keep in mind, there's a vent right up here, and I'll be showing, out, showing where that goes in a little bit. Or where that comes from, I should say. But this is the prison room, and we're not fully sure what we're gonna do here. We're thinking about maybe having zombies or some sort of thing, like, inside these cages. Where you can, like, hit a button, like, some sort of security button, and release them and, like, inflict them on the crew. But we're not sure if we want to, like, deal with that, because zombie faces can be kind of wonky. But this is how the room looks. It's not the most in-shape place. We got, like, girders falling from the sky. Things are kind of disarranged. There's red lights everywhere. We got some graffiti. More girders fell. There's another uh, vent kind of falling down. And I want to mention that over here on this side, where one of these vents has fallen down, you can actually hop up from on top of this boss, if I can make the jump. Um, and you can crawl into the vents from over there or over here. And again, go back into this room. And the reason there's so many vents everywhere is for one, they get make, make it fun for the killer and for the crewmates. Crewmates can use them too if they want. But the other thing is if doors are locked, we need ways to be able to move between rooms still. So this is kind of helping with that. The next room is the end room. This is where the idea is where you get power. We haven't implemented it yet, but we're going to make it so that you can depower this room or sabotage this room and the whole station loses power. So that's going to be an interesting thing, um, kind of a target for sabotages. And over here on this broken engine, you see the monitor is red, the thing's crashed down, and it's kind of shoved into the ground. We have uh, a thing you can uh, salvage electrical parts, and these will be useful. Um, these are mostly only useful to the imposters, but I'll explain what they're for a little bit later. I'll just hold on to it for now, but keep in mind that that does exist. So this is the kind of navigation room where you have a bunch of windows and some control stations. Um, old bathroom here. Bathrooms are kind of all, all the way to the side of the ship, so, you know, a little porta party for convenience. Um, here's another spot you can get some electrical parts, like, one of the only things we've implemented so far. And we got some green lights, we got some, some, red, some red lights. Uh, I stuttered a bit there. But we have, like, some windows and stuff, just to make it feel like navigation. We're gonna have some signs and stuff, like, so we haven't implemented those. We plan on having them show up on your HUD as you enter the room, so they're not just, like, constantly there to annoy you. That's all there is to this room so far. For the greenhouse room and the oxygen room is next door. We'll get into that in a sec. Uh, we have the greenhouse room. The idea for this room is that, like, it's 
what's providing the oxygen. You can possibly sabotage this room to cut off the oxygen supply um, and also repair it um, to help the crewmates. We got the big tree in here for like extra oxygen, I suppose, and then the littler plants maybe for food or a little oxygen. We're leaving some of the details like unclear, so I don't know. People want to figure it out for themselves. Uh, we got a couple different events. Uh, I guess there's a or the door here goes to the exa exact same spot I'm going to go to in this vent, which is the oxygen treatment room. Um, so this is where the oxygen from the trees and the plants is supposed to be getting processed. Um, and as you can see, this is like the oxygen tanks. It looks kind of weird, but we had some fun with it. it made it look okay. Um, just some random boxes, air conditioning vents. There's a few things that are going to be able to like interact with for tasks and such. Going back into the tree room to use the vent. Um, this actually might be a shorter distance than just using the door. We have what I would call the uh, interrogation room. We have two chairs and a monitor. Um, this blue thing that you're seeing here, this will not be here in the thing. This is purely for testing purposes. When I step in there, it'll turn me into a crewmate, crewmate instead of an imposter. In game, that will not be possible. But this is just for testing purposes. So this is just here for testing. I just want to clarify as much as possible. This is kind of a storage closet room. We kind of didn't put too much time into this room. It's just a little like storage thing to hide in here, hide a body, go into a vent. We might have a task in here. Um, right here we have a thing so you can scan to apply for a security key, right? So this is only available when the small circle is blue. You can only get three security keys if force disabled and you can only get it if you are a crew member. So I'm currently an imposter. So I step on here, nothing happens. It doesn't work because I'm an imposter. And I'll say as an imposter for now, here we got the bathroom. There's nothing too crazy going on here. This is the women's restroom, I believe. And we have a little secret passageway going into that storage closet we were just in. Um, again, just like a clean bathroom. Got a shower, some toilets. Got some sinks over there. Very, very bright lights. Got keys nice and lit up. And in this particular shower, it looks pretty normal. So you realize there's actually a secret vent that goes into the adjacent bathroom. And which is pretty much just a mirrored version. Nothing too crazy going on here. No vent on this one. And I think that's pretty much the only change. And you'll see it puts it off in the exact same hallway. And I believe that is pretty much most of the rooms now. Oh, still this thing, I'll show you that in one sec. This is that same hallway we're in, so this is where you get the oxygen. And then... This is the engine room. And this is the plant room, the greenhouse. So you kind of get a layout of how this is all laid out. The only room I haven't shown you yet is this room, which is nothing. This is an airlock. Oh, this event goes into a... what is it? A bathroom. Yeah, very sanitary. Um, so this is the, like, the airlock area, because this goes into the, like, spaceship boarding area. And we haven't implemented it yet, but there's gonna be, like, a low gravity zone here, so you can, like, jump around high and it'll be fun. Um, there'll probably be a task to do on this truck, maybe even a couple. Um, but yeah, there's, like, an airlock thing you go in, this one opens, you gotta wait, blah, 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 you enter, the, this one closes behind you, or closes behind you, there it goes, and starts opening. And it's all good. Alright, so now I want to show you guys is this particular room. This is the only real sabotage thing, like, that actually hurts the crew members that we've implemented so far. And you'll remember earlier I got these, uh, well, the separate traps. We call them electri electrical components. And what we're going to use these two is to overheat the oxygen processor. So if I do this, you'll see if nothing happens. That's because I'm an imposter. But if I was a crewmate, I would be taking damage. So let me go over and use that other thing that I was showing you a little bit earlier. This is where um, we can get security key. Now, it's not going to work. I'm an imposter. But if I switch to being a crewmate, you'll see that, yeah, I'm a crewmate now. Um, and now if I scan, let me scan, it's scanning me. And you can see my inventory. Oops. Um, I now have a movement modulator trap, which actually, well, that's what it's actually called. What it really is, is, is a security key. And also, I don't know why I'm not taking, I should be taking damage from the oxygen thing not working. So obviously all the technical stuff has not been fixed yet. I, this thing has been sabotaged and I should be taking damage. So that's something I'll need to fix. But like I said, this is just for the visual parts. So it doesn't really matter if the technical parts are working yet. There's still plenty of time to fix out glitches and bugs. We've barely implemented anything. What I'm going to do is open these doors really quick to show you something. So. With this, the key, I can use it to toggle the lock slash unlock in sector. So all these doors, if I scan my key, within a few seconds, they should all close and lock. And then I'll be trapped in here. And this can be used to sabotage. Yes, yeah, so these are all locked. So this can be used to trap people in or, like, cut off lines of sight to, like, get away with kills easily. Just things... We're trying to add a lot of things you can interact with the map to make it interesting. There's a couple ways to unlock the doors. You could just wait for it to reset and then toggle it again. And then a few seconds, they will all unlock again, theoretically, right about now. Yeah, see, that one so it just unlocked. Um, another thing you can do is use the vents to navigate to the security room. 
So yeah, you have to go, there's like a whole path you have to go through the fence. You kind of got to go around the whole ship. But it depends where you are, what's easier, what's not. You can use this thing, which also requires the um, lo uh, the key card you can see on the thing right there, to lock or unlock all facilities. So that thing I just showed you just previously was only showing, only closing doors in that like sector. We're gonna have the sectors labeled on the map. We haven't done that yet because we haven't done the technical stuff. But it'll be a little more clear later. But that was just in that sector. This button, this will lock or unlock all the doors in the entire map. So except security doors. Um, Probably the best example. But if I were to go in here, this is locked. This is locked. Um, pretty much every single door is locked except the big um, automatic doors. These are security doors that there's not. We're not sure if we're gonna have a way to close these or not. But so far we're gonna have it, so you cannot close them. Um, so if you're gonna get around, you can basically your your best bet is just to use the vents. That's why there's so many. You'll see that basically every room there's two vents or a vent or something to get into the next room. So you see, I'm going on this whole, like, expedition, and I haven't actually used, like, I've used one door in the in the shower, but that one doesn't lock, so why would a shower door lock? This is, doesn't lock either because it's just a closet door. Uh, then we got a vent here, so basically the entire map is uh, linked up with vents. And that's pretty much the entire map, that's all there is to show. We've got these port bodies you can hide in, um, if you want to camp for, like, someone- Oh, we're finally taking damage, token damage, um... I think we have a little too much delay on the oxygen processing thing. But eventually, if we don't fix the oxygen thing, it will kill us. Um, the way to fix it is kind of funny, actually, because I can't do it right now. Um, you need a shield bubble, which we're calling, I don't know, an antivirus software or something. We haven't fully decided a name for it. Uh, but currently, there's not a way to get one on the map. So all you can do is just slowly wait for your inevitable death. Inevitable death. You see on the thing, it requires a shield bubble. We are probably able to get one from, like, the storage boxes or something, but we just... Like I said, haven't implemented it yet. I know I'm saying that a lot. Um, and there we just died. That being said, I really want to thank you all for watching. That's going to wrap up the video. Hopefully it will be a little bit of a shorter video. Um, I don't have very many subscribers. Not much of a follower, following base. Uh, so you guys probably haven't noticed too much. But I haven't been uploading this week. I've been busy. School just started. I've been working on this map quite a bit. Um, hopefully I'll start uploading more, a little bit more regular, probably a little bit less than I was in summer, but hopefully still a somewhat regular rate. Hopefully coming soon, oh, I just leveled up, that's kind of cool. Hopefully coming soon you'll see an update on this map, and what's gonna happen, this is how it looks on the outside, not, not, not too good. Um, like I said, this was, this was made with the inside in mind, so the outside looks pretty bad, we're gonna have to build a shell around it to look okay. That's gonna do it for today, guys, thank you so much for watching, and if you wanna see more like this, you wanna see how the map ends up looking make sure to drop a like leave a comment saying what you want to see if you have any suggestions please leave a comment we have a lot of ideas for this map but we're not going to think of everything um so any feedback i can get is totally cool and hopefully we'll be able to publish this map someday sadly i don't have a creator code but if you guys can help me get there by uh, subscribing and i can get to a thousand subscribers i can get a creator code so if you guys want to help me if you guys want to play this map someday just chuck, a, just chuck a subscribe down there. I know this is a really long outro. It's kind of awkward and long. I'm not surprised you haven't clicked, clicked away yet. Not really sure. I'm just kind of rambling now. Um, as you do. I should probably end it now before it just becomes the longest outro in existence. So, until I see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Eat a banana.